The history of the Banner Company leads us directly to that of the Barvart family and the village of Vila, a summer resort on the eastern edge of the Rhine Valley. It is the year 1906. The sawmill owner, Johann Christoph Barvart, and his wife Maria become the proud parents of a son who they name Arthur. Arthur is to be second of the couple's ten children and, at the age of eight, he and his family move to Sulz, where his father, Johann Christoph, operates a sawmill complete with hydropower and stables. Arthur enjoys a good education and attends a commercial school before starting work in the parental sawmill. Still not yet 25, he founds his own transport company, supplying timber to the surrounding area and Switzerland with a Mercedes truck. Then, in 1934, he meets Rosa Buchel at an inn, and a year later they marry. The young couple live in a small apartment in Sulz and quickly have four children, named Norbert, Roland, Marlies and Emily. Arthur Barvart is uncertain as to whether his small transport enterprise can maintain his family and therefore starts to think about a second area of activity. During one of his delivery runs, he meets a man in St. Gallen, Switzerland, who is working on the building of batteries. This fascinates Arthur, and he also starts to experiment, producing his first functional vehicle battery in 1937. The decision is made. The future lies in the production of batteries. Arthur Bavard finds a mechanic as a partner and on September 16, 1937, they register a company for the manufacture of accumulators. Arthur and his partner, Eugen Wienger, discuss the company name over a drink and the result is Banner, a combination of Bavard and Wienger, with a double N as a link. Wienger quickly leaves the partnership, but the Banner name remains. Arthur Bavart produces motorcycle batteries and the first successes are achieved. In 1939, he purchases an old forge in Rankweil and sets up a workshop with a range that is extended to include batteries for all types of vehicle. The turmoil of World War II and the post-war years under French occupation do not endanger the existence of the company and with hard work and a wealth of ideas, not to mention the support of his wife Rosa, Arthur Barvart establishes the banner name throughout Vorarlberg. In 1947, the first branch is opened in Innsbruck, and in 1948, the former forge workshop is enlarged to create a sizable factory. However, the company's growth is reaching the limits of its expansion. For Alberg has proven to be too small a market and, with its peripheral location, unsuitable for deliveries to the rest of Austria. Arthur Barvart looks for a solution and finds it in Linz Klein München. As a result, in 1951, he moves to the newly purchased company premises in Upper Austria along with his complete production and accompanied by his loyal employees of many years and his sons, Norbert and Roland. In addition to manufacturing batteries, in 1954, Arthur starts to produce plastic components. The business develops well and continues to exist today as the Banner Plastics Plant. Business growth in the battery era demands the recruitment of new workers, and towards the end of the 1950s, the production facility in Linz Kleinmunchen also reaches the limits of its capacity. Therefore, a new location has to be sought for a second time. The result of this search is the purchase of a plot of land in Leonding in 1961 and the building of a new factory. The preconditions for further expansion have thus been established and sales branches throughout Austria are the consequence. 1967 sees the first battery exports, which go to Banner's trading partner, Tomassian, in Beirut. Banner then develops the first dry, pre-charged battery and this enjoys success in Germany and Switzerland. The initial foreign branch is opened in Munich and the second follows in Saffenville, Switzerland. In 1969, the first Wuchterfit wheel weights leave the Leonding production facility. In 
Until 1978, a flag is part of the banner logo, but this is then replaced by a heraldic buffalo. In 1979, the Austrian Minister of Business and Industry, Josef Starybacher, starts the production of the first maintenance-free battery, with which Banner establishes a reputation throughout Europe. In the meantime, exports are underway to more than 20 countries in Europe, Africa and Asia. Trade fairs serve as an important sales platform and, in addition to the technical retail group, also bring the first automotive manufacturer to the company. In 1982, initial test batteries go to Volkswagen and a year later, Banner becomes an official first fitter. The Leonding location is the object of constant expansion and 700,000 batteries leave the plant annually. The company founder, Artur Bavart, dies in 1985, but management of the company had already been transferred to his sons, Norbert and Roland, many years before. In 1988, Banner again demonstrates its innovative capacity with the Uni Turbo. In 1990, the hybrid battery opens the door at Audi and supplies to OEMs accelerate with manufacturers such as Mercedes, Chrysler, MRN, Kia and Smart. Banner also seizes the opportunities offered by the fall of the Iron Curtain and establishes sales companies in the Czech Republic and Hungary. Two new branches are founded in the former Eastern Germany and deliveries are made to the partner company Tobis in Lithuania. Apart from expansion in Eastern Europe, new sales companies are launched in France, Denmark and the UK. In 1996, with Andreas and Thomas Bavart, the third generation of the family assumes the management of the company. They introduce rotary expanded metal as an innovative production technology and in 1999 succeed in setting a new annual production record of over 2 million batteries. Sales companies in Poland, Russia, Bulgaria and Romania provide evidence of growing internationalization. Moreover, a joint venture with East Penn quickly bears fruit and the Stiftung Warentest Consumer Protection Organization selects the Banner Power Bull as a battery test winner. Calcium Calcium and AGM provide major successes in the OEM segment and in 2006 Banner delivers batteries to BMW in Munich for the first time. The plant in Leonding is subject to major enlargement, a logistics center, new AGM production capacity, the redesign of the social amenities and the installation of the Comcast line, all serving to document business success. Today, over 90% of the 4 million batteries produced yearly are exported. At its plant in Leonding and 28 sales companies, Banner employs a workforce of 760 that generates annual sales revenues of 237 million euros.